Hey everybody, Tony Phelan here with Competition X, and today we have the new Tyrrell P34 six-wheeler from Tamiya. Now this is a re-release of the six-wheeler that won the 1977 Argentine Grand Prix. That original Tyrrell had uh, a hard body like this one does. It had a flat kind of no-name chassis, it didn't have a designation to it, and it had rubber tires. Now this six-wheeler is based on the F103 chassis and comes with the hard body, a slightly updated livery, a full set of foam tires, and a sport tuned 540 motor. This does not, however, come with an ESC, so you need to supply that on your own. So we're gonna get this box over to the bench behind me, get it unboxed, and see what comes inside. All right, so here we are, the P34 six-wheeler. Um, cool looking box art as usual for Tamiya. There's the 103 chassis. This is four front tires, two rear, side view. Helmet looks kind of big, huh? But I'm sure it's to scale. Uh, let's see the other side real quick. Here's a close-up view of the car once it's built. Some call outs. Now you will need a radio system, speed control, servo, and receiver, and a battery pack, and a charger uh, for this kit. But other than that, it does come with a motor, 540 motor. So, all right, let's get inside this box. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move the box. I'm gonna move the box and go, well, and get a quick look real quick. Everything under there, so let's move these out. I'll take a look at this first since it's on top. So the first thing is going to be the sticker sheet. Elf, first nat national city. Uh, you can do number three or number four. It's got the helmet decals. Um, since it is a hard body and there's no painting required, you're not gonna get any kind of window masks or anything because there's obviously no windows on this. Um, there's the body, let's go ahead and take this out of here. Again, this is a hard body. And it is molded. I'm gonna hurt the body here. It is molded in the blue and the white. Um, it's taped together. You can pull it apart if you want to. Now there may be some purists out there that will repaint the body. Um, I may do that. I mean, I love the body the way it's already colored, but you can kind of see some irregularities. Um, if you were to kind of sand it, primer it, paint it blue, uh, all that would go away. It'd make it look a lot nicer. So I may, I may repaint this, we'll see. And then in this bag, have not to cut them, are the foam tires. This is a little different. I always love the smell of foam tires. Boy, yeah, really strong coming out of that bag. Um, foam tires, they're already pre-trued. Uh, again, a lot of guys will true these down again to make maybe a little bit more low profile. I'm not, I'm gonna leave them big like this because they look cool. There's your two rears and your four fronts. Cute little tires, right? Like little 18 scale tires. Okay. So the next bag here is going to be the rear wing of the car. Again, it's pre-molded in blue. You got your upper element, lower element, and then your side side uh, dams, air dams. It looks like maybe a standoff there. Uh, driver figure. Let's go ahead and open this one up here. Let's open this one up here. So this bag has uh, your driver figure, helmet, open-faced helmet. Um, too bad it doesn't come with a little Lexan piece over the helmet. That would be kind of cool. Uh, your mirrors, the lenses, the driver, roll bar hoop. Uh, I don't see the steering wheel on here. Must be on another tree like this one. There's your steering wheel, your radiators, um, look like some other mounting mounting parts here. Okay. Next bag here it's going to be some chassis parts. The battery, battery mounts here, 
the battery braces, the battery mounts, damper discs, center damper, body mounts, uh, servo mount. Now in this car you tape the servo to the mount and then the mount mounts to the chassis. So here we go. Uh, this bag looks like the rear pod. So it is the complete rear pod, left and right sides, and then front and rear side. This is where you're gonna mount the rear wing. And this is where you're gonna mount the, I think this is probably for the center shock. Uh, we're not gonna open this one up. This is just the wheels. Well, let's open it up. I'm curious to see what the wheels look like. These are the rear wheels. See, they mount with hexes like typical uh, pan car and then they're super deep dish. And you got like a center element that goes in the center there, two rear wheels. And then you have the four front wheels. These are bearing supported and the nice little five spoke, five of them there. Now, most likely the way you're gonna do these is you're going to, I'm gonna take this off, just kind of give you an idea. And just take this off so you get an idea. These are gonna be assembled with tape. When we do the build video, I'll show you how to do how they do the tape on these. Um, kind of put them on there and then you peel the tape off and the tape glues itself to the wheel and tire. But yeah, that's basically how it's gonna look. Pretty cool. And then we have the chassis. Obviously my table is not straight. Uh, so this is your main chassis, fiberglass. And then your T-bar, rear pod goes on there. It sits there and it kind of acts like a, like a T-bar, flexes there. And then some additional um, fiberglass plates. Then we get to the, all the bags. There's your 540 Johnson or Mabuchi motor. Mabuchi. Your front bumper. Looks like it's made out of Kitex. Nice and strong. Uh, your servo saver parts. The A bag. Let's just go ahead and open these up. Some fiberglass pieces here. Rod ends. Your Tamiya tool. If you have Tamiya, build Tamiya's, you probably have 4,000 of these. I know I do. Front springs. Standoffs for the upper decks. Steering arms. Um, I, it's funny because I looked in them like four springs. Oh yeah, but I forgot. It's four. It's four wheel steering, so you need kind of four of everything for the front. So there's four steering, four front springs, and this here is going to be the king pins, um, the ball ends, and all the mounting hardware. Okay. Uh, B. So some foam tape here, the rear axle, pretty heavy rear axle, steel rear axle. Some mounting hardware, some standoffs, mounting hardware. These look like for the front, um, for the front bumper, these long ones there. Now these are all JIS screws. These are not typical Phillips. So for best fitment, you should get a JIS screwdriver, like this one from Tamiya. The ratcheting, um, replaceable tips, and this will be what I'll be using to build it. Uh, this is a great screwdriver for the JIS screws. Moving on, we have the hub, center shock, uh, left side hub. Wait, let's say this is the left side. This is the right side. This is the drive hub. The diff and everything will go on there. 
some bearings, and then a motor plate, mounting hardware, mounting hardware, more springs, probably for the diff parts, and then this here is going to be the upper um, damper plate, thread lock, looks like your tools, some O-rings, and body clips. All right, bag C. Uh, diff parts, got the drive gear, the hub, uh, left and right side hub. That's where you're gonna put all the slipper, kind of the slipper clutch kind of stuff down inside there. Bushings, two, four, six, eight. These are probably for the front wheels. No bearings. Bummer. Uh, Tamiya grease and then ball diff grease. More mounting hardware, your pinion. Diff parts. Got the rings, the balls, and then the um, thrust bearing, thrust bearing parts. Mounting hardware. Um, receiver mount. I'm sorry, antenna mount for the receiver. These are the double-sided um, tape that you use to mount the wheels on. You probably need to cut this down a little bit, but you take the tape off one side, place it on the wheel, peel it back a little bit so it's hanging off, slide this on, peel it off, and then it kind of glues itself to the wheel. Steering rod ends and zip ties. Double-sided tape. Oh, maybe this is for the narrow. This looks like it's for the front wheels. It's narrower than for the rear tires. So yeah, there's that. And then the final bag, the D bag. Yes, I know. Never not funny. Uh, wing mount, rear wing mount. Attaches there, wing goes there. Nice metal piece there. Body clips. And mounting hardware to assemble the rear wing and then most likely put the wing on the mount itself. All right, we have the clear antenna tube. And then the paperwork is this. Uh, important information concerning this kit. That's about as much as I ever read of that. And then we have the manual. Pretty slick, pretty slick looking. Now it's always a good thing to check your manual first. This gives you the paint that you're going to need, the tools that you're going to need, the electronics that you're going to need. And then it goes through and starts the assembly of the kit. It's always, again, it's always a good idea to kind of cruise through here prior to assembly. Kind of get an idea of how everything goes together. This should go together actually quite easily. Most pan cars do. Oh, see, there's your tire, some tire and wheel assembly. Electronics, electronics install. The diff parts, or the diff parts, and then the thrust washer assembly. Painting of the driver figure and the body, and the decals where they go. Rear wing assembly. And then some setting tips, how to adjust the rear damper, how to adjust toe, and spare parts. There you have it. So there you have it. Everything that comes in the box in the Tyrrell P34 six-wheeler. Now this has always been a favorite of mine, uh, the six-wheel both in, in one-to-one -one Formula One racing as well as the RC version. And I've never had an RC version of this car, so I'm kind of excited to actually give it a try. I'm also excited that this is the hard body version and not the previous polycarbonate car version, uh, which is really cool looking, but the hard body just is way more detailed. So please stay tuned. We're gonna do a full build up on this car as well as some track running uh, as soon as I get it built. So please make sure you stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos in this series, and we will see you guys at the track. <music>